I had a little product review I'd like to do today. Uh, and this comes uh, because of a question I got recently uh, in my comment section. Uh, I was asked uh, where I shower. So normally I shower uh, in a gym. I have a gym membership, a uh, nationwide gym. Uh, and so no, normally I do my showering there, but I do try to be as uh, self-sufficient as possible. So that's why when I first built the van out, uh, I added a shower head. And some of you know this, but I have just a regular uh, household shower head. Uh, this one's made by Oxygenics. That works very, very well. Uh, uses very little water, uh, but gives you great pressure. Uh, the one problem with this is I am normally always uh, in a city environment and so there's not a whole lot of places where I could set up uh, with privacy you know out the back doors uh, and use it uh, so I've been looking for uh, an alternate way of trying to uh, uh, be a little more self-sufficient as far as the showering goes so uh, I know a lot of van dwellers use uh, the, the weed sprayer or bug sprayer, the little pump up thing uh, that they they put a shower head on, uh, they pour water in it, they pump it up and, and they use that. Uh, that seems like a great idea to me but obviously I don't have a lot of space uh, here in the van. Um, so when I was walking around REI uh, recently I found a product that I thought kind of fit the bill. So this is it it's called an Aquabot. It is basically the same concept as the weed sprayer uh, in that you put water in it. Uh, it has a pump that you would pump up on top, uh, which would pressurize the air in it and uh, allow you to spray water out. Um, the idea here that I thought was that it's compact and small. Uh, but would still give me uh, something that would give me pressure so I wouldn't have to turn my sink on, uh, my pump on, uh, and use my sink. So I've got just a couple of issues that I should probably warn you about uh, if you're interested in, in this. Um, one is it's not the cheapest thing. Uh, the, the little pump assembly is $20. Uh, if you've got a bottle you can use uh, on it. Um, you can go ahead and use that. Otherwise, uh, this Nalgene bottle is another $8, I think, uh, although I think it was on sale that day. Um, my main issue is the first one I bought, uh, I tried out a couple hundred miles away from REI. Uh, I was out in the middle of nowhere, and it didn't work. Um, this one, uh, when I pump it up, uh, doesn't seem to hold pressure very long. so. I think that the company has some quality control issues. So if you were gonna buy one of these, I'd say uh, buy it at REI and uh, test it out in the parking lot before you go. Uh, just a little quick rundown on, on how, it, how it operates. Um, to pump it up is rather simple. It's just like the little garden sprayer um, that most everybody else uses. It's just obviously much smaller. Uh, this is set up as a mist. I don't know if you can see that on camera there. Uh, they also have a a more spray option that comes out, I'm trying not to get my iPad wet, uh, that comes out pretty fast. Uh, if you take this little nozzle completely off, uh, they call this their shower version. Uh, so all of that I think works great. Uh, I don't use it a whole lot in the van other than uh, on me, I should say, I, I do use it for washing dishes. Uh, it really helps cut down the water use. Uh, instead of turning my pump on, uh, I'll use this to rinse my dishes off. Uh, I have used it at the beach as well, um, just to uh, spray off my feet before I got back in the van. Uh, so I like it. Uh, I think that it's kind of a worthy addition, um, just because of the water that it saves me here. Uh, but I. I would say I'm a little bit wary about them uh, giving them a full recommendation just because uh, the first one I bought didn't work. Uh, this one doesn't seem to hold pressure very long and maybe that's just the way they are. Uh, but I think all in all, um, I think it's actually a really kind of clever product and I think it's kind of a, a cool thing to have uh, 
if you're in a van like mine that you don't have a lot of space but you did want something other than uh, your sink uh, to use uh, either for showering or for washing dishes. And uh, this comes at kind of a, a good day to talk about this because it's about 110 out. You can probably see I'm quite sweaty. So I think I'm gonna put this to use now. Uh, you're not invited for that though. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll try to answer them uh, as soon as I can.